There is not a lot to say about life. Toads and language will not enlighten you as much as watching the rain. There are speakers who will talk many hours about this. Why they do it is the same as asking why the sky is raining. It disappears. If you find a speaker who talks of this directly, without making it pretty or trying to say what they think the seekers want to hear, you can probably take a few pages in a book or at most an hour of a video and edit everything they've ever said about this to fit there. Beyond that, the talking of the speaker is like watching a talk show or a comedian. Maybe more like a comedian. <laughs> now, people will say that Anna, that speaker and Sophia, she criticizes everyone else. But I'm not saying that at all. You only hear what imagine I say. But it is all imagination. Seekers like to hear the same thing said over and over and over. It makes them feel comfortable. Maybe it reinforces the idea they're not really crazy for listening to such a strange subject. And maybe speakers talk because there is nothing left to do. Or maybe it pays the bills. Or maybe they always wanted to be a performer, but never had an act. I'm not here to put on a show. From time to time people can find me here, in Bulgaria. But you'll never see me go to India to talk to an audience of Europeans. About nothing at all. I will leave that to the professionals. I have heard people say, this is a beautiful message. I've also heard people say, it is a brutal message. And both are the very same. Brutality, beauty, and words, and actions. They're just labels you put on life. You pick out one part of life and separate it from another. It is like watching the rain and trying to judge each drop as it is falling. It seems there are separate raindrops but there's only just the rain. Everything you think about, all you see, people and places and animals and plants and the sky and rain and moon and sun, all that appears, all like raindrops. And when you walk outside, there's only the rain. What separate raindrops have you ever experienced? What you imagine to be yourself is only a drop of rain. How is a raindrop separate from the rain? How are you separate from all that appears? Where did you begin? Was the drop of rain born in a cloud? Does it end when it's absorbed into the grass or falls into the river? No separate drop is ever born or dies. It is not that the drop is immortal. It is not that the drop is the rain itself. It is only that the drop of rain as a separate thing never had any existence. Never had any reality at all. Just like the idea of you, watch the rain and you will see.